Hi, my name is David. I am a member of the Kit Kraken team and in this video I am going to show you how to use smart commits. Developers use smart commits to update Jira by including specific syntax in their Git commits. Smart commits can improve the collaboration and organization of a development team and make it easier for key stakeholders to see the progress of specific tasks. In this video I will show you how to use smart commits to link a commit to a Jira issue, add a comment to a Jira issue, record time tracking on a Jira issue, and transition a Jira issue. Before you are able to leverage smart commits, you will need to download Git integration for Jira from the Atlassian Marketplace. If you don't already have an account, don't worry. You can start a 30-day trial to test it out. Let's jump to our first example. Linking a commit is very easy. We will modify our file. Let's add a new line here. And we'll save the changes. My editor, Git Kraken Client, will understand that there was a change in a file, and so I will have to stage the file. And I'll, I'm going to add a new comment message, including the Jira issue key. That way, I make sure that a Git integration for Jira will link that specific commit to the issue. Now let's go back to Jira and refresh. Now let's open the Git integration panel. And now you see that there is one commit associated. And if we click on the Git commits tab, we will see that very commit. Let's modify our file again. Let's add a new, a new line here. We'll save the changes and we are going to commit the changes. So we will use the special smart commit tag named comment. So we'll leave the message here. We'll reference the Jira issue and we'll just type the comment tag. And the string after that comment tag will be the message that we will be adding to the Jira comment. Let's click on commit changes, let's push the changes, and let's refresh. Now you can see that the comment section will contain the new comment that we just recently added through the commit message. We can see that we have two commits associated now, and clicking on the git commit tab, you will see the new entry for the last commit that we have added. It's possible to track some time with your commit messages using smart commits. So let's open our editor again. We will introduce a change to this file. Let's add a new line here. Let's save the changes. We'll add the commit message. And for this example, we will introduce the time tag. And then we'll enter one H, which means one hour. So we're telling get integration for Jira that we are tracking one hour. Let's refresh again. And now you can see that under the time tracking section, there is one hour logged. Let's add a new time. Let's save changes. But this time when we add the smart commit tag for time, we'll add a compound time. We're gonna enter one hour, one H, and 20 minutes m for minutes and then we'll also can add a comment by placing the common tag so we can use different tags here and then we're just telling uh, get integration for Jira that we want to close this issue let's push the changes Very, let's verify that we have logged one hour and this is in the, in the in-progress state. And now the issue has been transitioned to done and we have two hours and 20 minutes logs. And you can see the comment. So you can use multiple smart commit tags in the same commit message. You can transition to different states by specifying that in your commit message. As you can see, my issue is in the backlog state. And if I click on the drop down box, I can see all other states. If I click on the view workflow option, I can see all the states and the transitions. 
Transitions define the changes between states. You can restrict which state can follow if you're in a given state. This is important to mention because this will define what to type in your commit messages. In my case, I don't have specific or name transitions, so I can just type the name of the state I would like to transition to. But if you have name transitions, you will need to use them instead. Let's open our editor. Let's add some changes and save them. Now let's add a commit message including the name of the state. But remember what we said about name transitions. If your state or transition has spaces in between, replace such spaces with the dash character. I can also add a comment. Let's push the changes. Now let's go to Jira and refresh our issue. As you can see, the issue has been transitioned to a different state. Let's do it one more time. We are going to add a new line here. Save the changes. And enter the commit message. Remember always to include the Jira issue key. And now let's close the issue by specifying the done state. Now in Jira we'll refresh the issue. Sometimes it takes some seconds until the changes are applied. In those cases, refresh the page again. And there you have it. The issue is closed from the commit message. Hopefully from these examples you can see how helpful Spark commits can be. Imagine all the time you could save by eliminating the context switching back and forth from Jira. If you want an even deeper understanding of smart commits, I've added a link to an article in the description. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Bye.